guys behold the eight wonders of the world Oops. if I'm going to fall down there I'll be dead <laughs> Good morning guys, oh, good afternoon guys, what's going on, what's up, what's up, so welcome to my channel to those who are first time here, my name is Lowell, I'm a travel filmmaker, I'm a travel blogger, and I'm a photographer, so it's been a while since the last time I upload some videos because um, my laptop has been uh, already dead, you know, because it's been like for nine years already and Yes, I think it's been one month already that I didn't manage to... What is that? Oh, there's a, ch <laughs> there's a roaster. <laughs> so it's been one month already since I never upload some videos. Because maybe next week or December, I'm going to buy a new laptop. So anyway, so I've been here in Manila, arriving last, um, last night, the other day. And then after that, I went to... The eight wonders of the world. I'm planning to visit this one. I only managed to see this one um, only in postcard during when you're when I was school, right? So I didn't really manage to to see this one. But during this time, I purposely come here to be able to witness the beauty of the eight wonders of the world. So stay tuned. Here's some crazy ledge of one of the um, rice terraces. So we're going to I'm going to traverse it. Be very careful. Very steep. This is what adventures looks like, right? See, I just traversed this one, and it's quite. If I'm going to fall down there, I'll be dead, <laughs> and there's nobody. I'm just alone. So, so guys, if you're planning to come here, to the eighth wonder of the world, it, it is located in Banawi. So it's very famous for Banawi rice terraces or the Batad rice terraces. So in order for you to come here, all you have to do is just go to Oha Ohayami bus terminal. If you don't know, maybe the ways the ways can, or you can ask the truck, the taxi driver. I'm sure they know about the place. It's just in Metro Manila, in Sampaloc, Manila, and then you can just go there and then after that they have two schedules night schedules it's 9 p.m which the one i took it and there's another one at 10 30 p.m so approximately it will take you at least like 10 to 11 hours and for for me in my case we did manage to reach almost 12 hours because our bus broke down in the middle of the night in the middle of nowhere and it's really very dark but luckily after almost two hours the the driver fixed the bus and we're good to go okay the bus fare is cost you like 540 pesos maybe around like 15 us dollars more or less 
look a simple mistake here and I might fall down there but guys look at look at that view look at that view so amazing right it's breathtaking I'm the king of the world amazing so amazing right you need to hike for at least like really just now my 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 legs are shaking you know because i'm i'm re restless i sleep deprived i think i only managed to sleep like two hours or one hour because um during in the bus ride i was so i was so uncomfortable you know that's the reality that's the beauty of adventures you don't know what's what you serve for right so really i'm so sleep deprived i'm restless then and as i go here i my 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 legs are shaking you know because you need to descend and really you need to go up again it reminds me when i want when i was in bali and i think this one is more worse so really my as i go descend to the the as i hike down really my my legs are shaking and you know until i need to really very very careful and then also my bag is are so heavy with my two cameras and my my backpack so really i need to really be very very careful i am really very very tired but it's really very very nice i no regret it i'm going to do it again i'm still here halfway here just enjoying the view and yes continue to go up over there to see the overall looking of the terraces So I need I need to hike down there. I thought it's going up, but actually it's not. It's actually another side. So you know hiking this Batad rice terraces really it takes a lot of it will take it will test your how physically fit you are and mentally and how mentally strong you are, you know, to be able to cope up with this um, challenge. But really this is what really likes this is what adventures really like as for me right so no regret it just going down there i need to secure my camera first because you know shit happens all the time so yes The weather is very nice although it's the sun are shining bright but still the weather is very cold the fresh air wow it's really very very nice and then mm, the beauty is so beautiful the the view is amazing look at this look at, look at the houses over there the houses they are all like I think I I stay over somewhere, somewhere there, somewhere there, and then later I will go down. But later I'm going up first. See the beauty? So amazing, right? I always love exotic traveling. You know, I cannot get enough of exotic travels, nature, breathtaking um, mountains like this one. It's so amazing, I can't get enough of it and the more I want to see the world, the more I must see the world and need to save a lot of money first in order to, because traveling is quite expensive, right? But this is the thing that really makes me happy, so go for it! So I want you to bring you guys and follow me to my um, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that I can bring you to see the world along with travel tips and ideas so don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel Whew, really very really tiring 
the struggle is real you know you need to climb down climb up climb down now it's a bit easier because I all most of the time I climbing down but what if later need to climb up oh. but it's amazing experience every view is really amazing right just now I went from over there climb up been climbing climbing down climbing down climbing down over here look at the beauty guys look at the view guys behold the eight wonders of the world but hard but now we rise to receive Woo! this terraces is already been 2,000 years old yes Imagine 2,000 years old, it's being, there's no machine, just pure hard work, just pure hard work and skill, you know, to be able to do this kind of things. Imagine 2,000 years ago, the, the Ifugao ancestors, those who are trying to do this one, still they're trying to continue with their um, new generation. So imagine they built this one for how many years trying to carve this one from out of the mountain without any machines you know just pure skilled and your bare hands to, with some other primitive tools you know just imagine so it's so amazing right look at that so if you're planning to come here guys make sure that you bring lots of waters because the water here are very expensive yes and energy drinks uh, comfortable shoes because sometimes you're going to step on the rock that is very slippery so you know you need to stay focused all the time because sometimes a single mistake could be fatal because it's really very it's quite dangerous as well so um insect repellent also then sunblock because sometimes it can be very hot and then cap so all those things there's no cell phone there's no wi-fi there's no services so you know it's really a very nice um experience to be able to escape from the outside and chaotic world you know because we, we all the time we just all the time work 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 and then we forget to have fun right with your life sometimes if you're looking for a place to chill with a very sense of adventure then make sure you visit the eighth wonder of the world the Batad Banawi Rice Terraces